But before we move on to our uh to to more stuff, I wanted I saw a tweet. Let me actually pull it up because it was a debate going on after this uh actually aired the China a little bit that we just and this was a debate. So this this would be a good little uh little snip. I'm gonna actually pull it up. Uh, they, it was basically a question on who do you think should be considered the first, I guess you can say, face of the WWE in regards to the women. Like some people say Becky Lynch, some people say Trish Stratus, some people say China, some people even say Charlotte Flair. Mm-hmm. Who do you think should be considered should take that? I guess you could say that honor that that I, I won't even say honor that distinction of being oh okay you're the face you're the person that doing this because i believe because here's the twitter account that kind of started it they said uh i'm going to need people to stop saying that becky lynch was the first woman to be the quote-unquote face of the company you're dead wrong china was bigger and more mainstream than becky oh yeah dang yeah see here is where i kind of told the little line right here Mm -hmm. china was more popular than Becky because around the time that she was in the WWE WWF at the time she was the wrestling at that time was more popular it was in it was more cool to be a wrestling fan Mm -hmm. now it's like you kind of took your head a little bit like I'm a wrestling fan you don't make it you don't say loud and proud because wrestling nowadays is just yeah so I guess you can say Becky was the first that the company actually put stock behind, if you want to put it that way. And the reason why I say that, because you don't really see it before Becky, Charlotte, Sasha, Bailey, that you didn't really see a lot of the women main event, the pay-per-views. You saw maybe 10, two, two minute matches mm-hmm. here and there. Uh, you got lucky if you got a 10 minute match yeah. on a pay-per-view. And that was AJ Lee and Caitlin. That's the last I remember. So it's like, you can really, some people can say it was Trish Stratus who was the first, but then you got to kind of take in the fact that China was still there. So uh-huh. I, my opinion, I'm gonna get your opinion in just a sec. My opinion was China was never, cause I actually responded to the tweet. I said, China was never positioned higher than the IC title. The one time they yeah, wanted to did. put her yeah, in she the did WWF the title yeah. scene, they changed their mind quick. Like I believe around the time she defeated Triple H, ironically she beat defeated triple h to become the number one contender at that year some so i believe that was in 1999 uh-huh. they completely did a 180 and took her out of it and put mick foley and triple h back in it because i believe it was it was like so many conflicting reports that oh some stone cold don't want to put her over or whatever the case may be so they completely did a 180 but then i but i went on and said was she a trailblazer yes uh-huh. did she pave the way yes but she yeah. was never the face of the company like she wasn't the focal point mm-hmm. around that time it was stone cold the rock undertaker rock, and all yeah. the people mm-hmm. so in triple h so it was like she wasn't really the face they didn't really put nobody as the face like of the women i mean you some people can even say the bella twins were the face but that that's that's even subjective because mm-hmm. they didn't really move the needle that much so I it's like say Naomi too, but you know you can't really say Naomi can't say because, it. Yeah. because they're not putting they're not putting as much stock in her as they put a Becky or a China at the time or a Charlotte. Mm-hmm. It's like she freaking lost to Piper Niven or Doe Drop, whatever they're calling her, going to call her. So it's like you can't even say Naomi. Like you can say Na- right. it's like a lot of these women. You can say they were trailblazers or influential, but you can never really say that they are the face, right? Because I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna be that type of person. WWE doesn't really care about the women unless it's political. Some people may hate that I say that, but that's the god honest truth. When did you you know why they gave so much crap? About, they gave a crap about the women around the time Becky was the face. Ronda Rousey. Yes. You want to know why they gave a crap about Ronda? The women. But when uh, the, that's the only reason I could tell you that. They, that they really like pushed for the women to be the focal point because since then women's matches have been reduced to two minutes mm-hmm. uh they're focusing they're reverting back to focusing on the beauty and not the athletic aspects of it like there's nothing wrong with being beautiful in the ring right. but that should not be your character focal point right. but it is so and 
But now that when you mentioned like the the when you so mentioned like the go push. back before we before we go back to that. So who do you think who do you think should be considered like the first face of the company? Like if you can really even say that. It's so hard. <laughs> it's and and the reason why I, I'm glad that you said that because it's hard. It, it, it's it's kind of it's white women. It's so hard. It's like there's faces of certain eras. You can uh-huh. say you can say China was the face of the attitude era. You can say Trish Stratus and Lita was the invasion. I mean the uh, the face of the, the face of the invasion was- all the way to the to the ruthless aggression era. You can yeah. say the Bellas it's were hard, the man. face. The Bellas and AJ Lee were the face of the Divas era. And then you can mm-hmm. say the four horsewomen were the face of the women's wrestling era, along with Ronda Rousey. And then now it's like that you can you, it's so and the more of it is it's so subjective that I wanted I wanted to give I did want to give props with Naomi and Bianca because in a way like when I saw them go at it when they were fighting in the Rumble I was like. Yay! Like yeah, I got that's, that's more so. That's what I'm saying. And that's I, more so I was influential. Like, I was like, yes. That's more so. But yeah, and, like, <laughs> and that's why I say that's more so influential. It's and not so much as the company putting you as the focal point, because yeah. And and honestly, they change their mind so much, they really don't have a face <laughs> of the company. <laughs> so it's like they do. <laughs> it's like that's. That was an interesting debate that I wanted to get your opinion. But they on. have no problem picking the man. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. that's a who, who's the face of WWE right now? Roman. <laughs> they have no problem. <laughs> Roman Reigns. Let's just be real. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wanted to get that. Like after we watch, after I watched that documentary, I'm like, now I see why a lot of people because it's it's okay. And the moral of it is, it's okay to to think who you think should be the face of the company or who you thought who you think is the first face of the company let's be real wwe in wwe there was really no real face, no real face of the company with with the women they had the people that they pushed for a political agenda and then once the the political the politics played down they moved on to something else mm-hmm. and when you mentioned as far as like that like even when it was like pushing that direction, you remember when they uh, first had like the women to headline WrestleMania? Like mm-hmm. all the women were headline WrestleMania. No yeah, triple threat. Was, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Like yeah, like I was proud of it. And then not only that, but the fact that oh, I forgot. Why did I forget? Nia I fell Jax? asleep. I gotta, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Uh, I gotta yeah. stop forgetting about Nia Jax. I gotta stop doing that, John. Because she actually made herself go out when the men were fighting and she decided to put herself in that Royal Rumble. Nah, they, nope. you know why they did that? They did that I as said, a test run. And said, that was another... That was, they did that as a test run because people have been clamoring for intergender wrestling. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I mean intergender wrestling done the right way because it can be done the right way. Mm-hmm. It's been done. It's, it's been oh. done in TNA. It's been done in... in mm-hmm. it, well, Impact now. It's been done in... Uh, Lucha Underground. I was like, oh, oh, really? We are we bringing this back a little bit? They did it. <laughs> they did it. The people on the I'm board or the or the sponsors said no, and WWE said, okay, we change our mind. That's just it, it's all about the money. <laughs> let's, let's let's be real. It's all about that money. Crazy. So that's what I'm saying. Man. I'm like that's that's it's at the end of the day, it's so subjective on what it is like. I'm gonna be honest with you, that 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 first ever women's pay per view, I mean, not, not the pay mm-hmm. yeah, the pay per view was solid, mm-hmm. but that woman that first ever women's triple threat match, I, I fell asleep because yeah. it was so long. The pay per view itself was so long. One that pay per view almost eight hours. It was so, so it was. I'm like, y'all y'all can have that. I'm like, uh, yay! But me, I was like, yeah, I'll watch it. Why not? <laughs> So yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not really you, girly side. Want to kind of kill that? I guess you to kind of somewhat kill that debate or kind of subside that debate. Whoever is the face of the first face of the company in the WWE for the women, it's highly subjective because it depends on the era that you came up in, that the, in the yeah. era that you consider that you actually consider as as important. So it's like in many ways you can say China was the first. In many ways you can say Trish and Lita was the first. You, or just Trish herself because they put more attention on Trish than Lita, or yeah. you, and, or you can say the. And Bellas. then they start putting their attention on Ashley. 
a little, a little bit. Probably a little bit. For a little bit. Tiny. She still got attention, but it was a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> still got a little exposure, but yeah. Mm-mm, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs>